Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lincoln Journal Stars Four Downs. Luke Mullen alongside Amy Just coming at you from Memorial Stadium. Get used to this on Tuesdays. Uh, pretty much our regular schedule. A lot of press conferences, a lot of stuff going on here at Memorial Stadium on Tuesday. But of course, we'll focus on football. And to me, the, the top takeaway from today, talking about the way that the new defensive coordinator, Bill Bush, has gotten in this defensive unit, mm -hmm. um, he's changing up a lot, of the, a lot of the calls, a lot of the different terminology that they're dealing with. Yeah, at first, you know, that, that kind of surprised me because you'd think, you know, he's been on staff, you know, we're, we're four games into the season, you know, he'd want to keep a lot of that stuff the same. But I think what we heard from the players is a lot of the times the calls coming from the sidelines, it was just a lot for them to keep up with. Um, you know, they were really focusing on, you know, being in the right spot, which obviously you do need to be, um, but it seems like getting in those right spots was taking away from a lot of the different reaction time, um, just the basic stuff that they were doing out there on the field. So. Bush coming in, you know, eight games left, four games in, trying to change up a few of those calls, you know, make it a lot simpler for the players. Um, obviously, we've seen the defense has been a big, big struggle in the run game, all the different aspects. So we'll see if that, uh, you know, ma makes an impact on the field this upcoming week. Yeah, and another one of the things that guys were talking about today on that front were just slowing things down, making things mm -hmm. simple, and I think that can be an adjustment. Another not necessarily adjustment that they made this week, but focus on, was just t taking time off. It has been a grind for these guys, you know, going to Ireland, coming back, you know, not getting any break after that and resetting with all of that. Um, so Mickey said that they took Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off to give the guys a little bit of a break so they can reset, you know, heal a little bit uh, as they move forward into this next phase of the season. Uh, you know, some guys went home, some guys chilled out here, played some golf, uh, watched a lot of college football, mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely needed for them uh, as we move forward. Yeah, coaches on the recruiting trail too. Mickey yes. said, you know, real positive reaction. Got to see some old friends in New Orleans too. I'm sure you enjoyed that, the New Orleans way of doing things. Um, but obviously, you know, the changes were kind of the key focus. And we, mm -hmm. got, we got an updated depth chart um, with a few different changes that were very important. Um, offensively, you know, we kind of heard today Gabe Irvin, he's going to be taking on that backup running back role. Obviously, Yant and Ramir um, can still be in the mix for touches, but Gabe Irvin, um, you know, came on seven carries at the end of the game. Mickey had a lot of great things to say about him. Along the offensive line, Turner Corcoran, he's going to be starting left tackle with Teddy out, um, Kevin Williams on the injury list. So Brant Banks, he's going to be a backup. Their left tackle, left guard kind of looking at. But defensively, I think, was where a lot of the more important, um, you know, key changes were. And Chris Kolervik, guy who'd been playing nickel, a little bit inside linebacker, he's now in the two deep at inside linebacker, freshman Ernest Hausman. He's going to still be a backup, but not on the two deep, play on special teams. Um, you know, still trying to, to get the game to slow down a little bit is what Mickey said. Um, definitely we've seen that, but perhaps the biggest one, you know, we're, we're looking at that nickel position and Omar Brown, a guy who played corner, played safety, you know, he's kind of moved all around the secondary. Well, now he's up there at nickel. And of course, you know, his teammates saying he's a fast, athletic guy, um, you know, wh however close you can get him on the field to that ball, uh, that's going to help him a lot. Yeah. And in terms of the injury report, right, as you touched on a little bit with Kevin there. Kevin Williams is going to be out for a couple weeks with a high ankle sprain. And uh, in good injury news, uh, Brian Buscini, uh, he says he's fine. You know, he looked a little gimpy uh, when they played Oklahoma. Uh, just got rolled up on in his ankle uh, when he was making that tackle. He likes tackles, so if he gets the chance to do that, he will still do that, even if he could get hurt. Uh, but he's fine, not worried about it moving forward for this week. Yeah, and like you said for everybody, just resting and recovering. Obviously, there's been a lot of players, you know, secondary offensive line who've, you know, played 95, 98% of the snaps. So mm -hmm. just taking a week off to rest, recover. Um, it seems like they've been really re-energized, getting ready for Indiana this week. And, you know, we'll, we'll get the chance to hear from the coordinators, new defensive coordinator Bill Bush, offensive coordinator Mark Whipple for the first time in a couple of weeks tomorrow. So thank you all for tuning in to today's two-minute drill. For Amy Just, I've been Luke Mullen. We'll see you tomorrow.